Every year, on average, 578 people are killed by hazards associated with severe weather in the United States, a large majority of which are preventable. These hazards include, but are not limited to, floods, thunderstorms, extreme heat, and blizzards. The National Weather Service has done a good job performing outreach and safety education to children, but unfortunately, they only reach 2,500 schools per year, a mere 2.5% of primary and secondary schools in the country. This leaves 97.5% of schools in the United States on their own with regard to weather safety education. While other dangers are addressed in most all schools across America, such as the threat from strangers and the dangers of drug abuse, weather safety education has been shown to take a less important role in many school districts. Compounding the issue, the number of latchkey children, those who come home from school to an empty house due to working parents, is at an all-time high and rising, with census data showing that one out of every three children come home to an empty house at least once a week. Unfortunately, this is the time of day when severe weather is most likely to strike, making it imperative that children are equipped with the knowledge to properly and safely react to such situations. This lack of weather safety education, combined with children staying home alone without parental guidance, has created a potentially troublesome situation in which children will not be prepared during a severe weather event. In order to address these concerns, we have decided to create a children's book targeted at children between the ages of 8 and 11 to teach them proper safety procedures for a wide variety of weather hazards. In addition, the book contains relevant definitions as well as fun and interesting facts about each weather event, alongside hand-drawn illustrations of each dangerous situation. The following highlights about weather safety have been taken from our book. In extreme heat situations, restrict outdoor activity and remain in air-conditioned buildings. Wear lots of light-colored clothing to reflect sunlight. Drink plenty of non-caffeinated fluids throughout the day to avoid dehydration. And remember, as always, apply lots of sunscreen. Most importantly, seek medical attention immediately if someone is experiencing dehydration, vomiting, weakness, extremely high body temperature, or unconsciousness. When a thunderstorm approaches, seek shelter inside a secure, sturdy building, away from windows. In case of a power failure, have a medical kit, flashlight, and other necessities ready. If you are outside and see lightning or even hear a rumble of thunder, the safest thing to do is to head indoors. Contrary to your instincts, do not stand underneath a tree. Move away from windows, turn off the sink, and shut off electrical devices such as the TV. If a tornado is on the way, go inside immediately. Seek shelter underground, such as in a basement. Or if your house does not have one, go to a small room with no windows, such as a first floor hallway or a bathroom, and kneel close to the ground and cover your head. And stay in the room until the tornado has passed. During a flood, it's imperative to obey all watches and warnings. Never attempt to walk or drive through floodwaters. It's also important to know which roads in your local area are the most likely to experience flooding. If not ordered to evacuate during a hurricane, board up all windows with wood. Secure flashlights and batteries. Gather your medications. And make sure you have a supply of canned food and bottled water. During the storm, keep a battery-operated radio with you at all times. Do not leave your shelter during the calm eye of the storm. And after the hurricane has passed, use flashlights to investigate damage. During a blizzard, minimize your time outdoors. Stay inside and enjoy a cup of hot chocolate. But if you must go outside, make sure to bundle up. Otherwise, you run the risk of getting hypothermia or frostbite. Indoors, have a safety kit handy. 
in case of a power outage, have a flashlight, radio, food, water, and some blankets nearby. If you are shoveling, use your knees to bend down and lift the snow, not your back. For more information about the book, or to find out how to get a copy of it for yourself, please contact one of the authors. Yeah.